I'm TJ Schwanke, and today I want to show you how to cook the perfect elk steak every time, especially on those days when it's too cold to go outside and barbecue. And today we're going to use the sous vide. And sous vide is simply an immersion heater that circulates water. But the first thing we need to do is prepare the steaks. And I've got a couple elk back straps here. So I'm just going to start with a little kosher salt, and I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit on each steak. And then I'm going to take some rosemary and shake that on. And I like to use dry spices. I've got some thyme here. It seems that dry spices actually impart a better flavor. And then I'm just gonna take some chopped up garlic here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pat this into the steak gently. And I'm gonna flip these steaks over and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. So now that we've got the steaks prepared, we want to take a food safe plastic bag and just good old Ziploc in this case. I'm going to put the steaks in the bag, but I don't want the steaks to overlap. They need to be side by side. If you have them overlapping, they just won't cook properly. Okay, now we'll take our bag over to the sous vide. Okay, so now we're going to put the steak into the water bath. And this is the actual sous vide unit here. And we like our steaks rare, so we've got it set at 124 degrees. Great thing about the sous vide is no matter how long we leave the steak in the water bath, it's not going to get any more done than the temperature it is. Now, we've got a really nice cut of meat here, so we're only going to cook for about 90 minutes. But if you've got tougher cuts of meat, you can cook for several hours if you want. Sometimes we'll do our roasts, you know, even three or four hours and that makes them a lot more tender. You just want to be careful with good cuts of meat as sometimes you can get them a little mushy if you tend to overcook them. So what we're going to do is we want to get all the air out of this. So I haven't sealed the bag yet and what I want to do is I want to push the bag down in and the water is actually not that hot. It's only 124 degrees. So once I got it down to where the seal is, I'm just going to seal it. And you don't want any water getting in there, obviously. That's why we keep it in the plastic bag. We'll just kind of get that down. Now, I'm just going to clip this on like this. And we're going to cook that for 90 minutes. Okay, we've got the steaks out of the sous vide now. And in a cast iron fry pan here, I've got equal amounts of butter and olive oil heating up. You don't need much in there, just enough to stop it from sticking to the bottom. Now I'll admit these steaks don't look too appetizing right now, but give me a minute and I'll show you what's going to happen. Turn that up a little. So I take a paper towel and just gently pat those dry. And flip them over. And do exactly the same thing. Now I'm just going to take a little Montreal steak seasoning here and put this on both sides. I'm going to put them straight into this hot fry pan. And you want it really hot. And what we're going to do is we're going to just cook those for about a minute on each side. We don't want to cook them anymore. We just kind of want to get a nice crust on the outside. Okay, that's been about a minute on that side. We're just going to quickly flip them over. Always use tongs to flip your steaks too. You don't want to stick a fork into them. All that does is let all the juices out. But See the nice crisp crust we're getting on the outside of that? It's not going to make the inside any more done, but it's really going to give some nice flavor to that outside. Okay, put the cover back on, cook for another minute, they'll be ready to eat. Okay, those should be done. I'm just going to turn that off. Look at that beautiful crust on there though. Take those out. Fry pan over. Now, typically we would let those rest for, you know, three or four minutes but I just kind of want to show you how perfectly done they are. Look at that. I mean, just absolutely perfectly rare. 